We start things off in studio with Niagara hockey coach Dave Burkholder, who's here for a repeat performance. And um, things are good right about now. Six consecutive wins for your program, so uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah, it's been it's been a nice run, and uh, you know a lot of it is being home and playing at the Dwyer. Um, but six in a row, I, I I think I read today it hasn't happened since 0102. But uh, it feels great, and you know you feel so good for the guys who are are working hard Monday through Thursday when no one's around to watch and. They're a pretty dedicated group, and we're on a nice little run. One of the things that's happened, the emergence of Chris Noonan as your number one goaltender again, senior leadership in that spot. How important has he been to this run? Wow, he's been such a calming influence on our team and just making the timely saves. And he's playing like a veteran. He's playing like a senior. And, and you always hope that you know, your seniors' uh, best year are going to be their last year, and that's certainly the case for Chris. He's, he's just matured so much and just so, so mentally strong. And just you know even this past weekend we were we were getting overwhelmed at times by Robert Morris and he he'd shut the door get us a whistle make a big save and and it was enough for two wins well this week in a home and home against Mercyhurst and big games coming up we have other things to get to because there are off ice stories that we we like to tell here on the show with Sam Goodwin one player who is a humanitarian of sorts off the ice tell us about his story a little bit and a trip abroad that really um, drives home how important off the ice stuff is. Yes, Sam Goodwin epitomizes what you know we hope a Niagara hockey player how they live their life away from the rink and uh, he's up for the national award the humanitarian award uh, in college hockey there's 15 nominees and he's one of the finalists so so we wish him well on that but you know part of being a uh, a student athlete at Niagara University with the Vincentian tradition is you have to give back you got to help the poor and and Sam's been a poster child for that. And, and this past summer went, went abroad to Africa to, to help teach English and an experience that, uh, that he'll never forget. And, and we're awfully very proud of what he's done, what he's done for us off ice. We'll talk with uh, Sam coming up next segment. Paul Hamilton caught up with him. Paul Zanette was, a, was nominated for this award. I'm thinking back to David Ross and juvenile diabetes research. Is it something, you mentioned the Vicentian tradition, but also within the locker room, do you feel like when players grow up in that kind of atmosphere, they just kind of feel driven to do it? Yeah, I mean, they have to do so many hours of community service, and, and, and you know, we just pride ourselves, the guys pride themselves on, you know, not just doing the minimum, but really reaching out and, and, and uh, immersing themselves in the community. And, and, and we've had past guys that have really done that. You mentioned Paul and David Ross, and, and so our guys have, have uh, you know, it's almost like a challenge, and, and that torch is passed on, and and the guys have, have done a great job in the community. And quickly on Scott Arnold, he's a story in himself as well. Yeah, it, um, yeah I got a, a, a phone call you hope you don't get as a coach, but in mid-August, uh, Scott called and uh, was having some medical issues and they rushed him in. He had surgery the next day, uh, testicular cancer. Um, you know, he went through the surgery and ran all the tests. It hadn't spread, so he didn't have to go uh, through any treatments. But um, but you know, just what a great kid. The next day he calls from his hospital bed and says coach I won't miss the Michigan game which was our opener and it was almost five weeks to the day the kid played at Michigan so it's a great story and and uh, Scott and his family want to talk about it and we're going to share that we'll have them here on the show later on in the season you know the stories off the ice matching your play on the ice of late congratulations on the six straight wins and uh, talk to you I'm sure down the line once we get closer to the playoffs great thank you Dave Burkholder here on Purple Eagles Weekly